Hi everyone, this is Brenda from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading. I hope you're doing well today. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks that have helped me along my uh, paleo journey. And if you're trying paleo, uh, these will help you as well. So I think that I have mentioned before that I like to cook in large batches. And so I'll make, you know, if I'm making a dish, I'll make a whole bunch of it and either freeze some of it or um, bring it to work during the week. And I like to have like two or three dishes going at a time so I don't get bored. And um, breakfast can be challenging for some people if you're used to eating cereal or um, bacon and eggs and that kind of stuff. I mean, you can have the bacon, uncured bacon, and preferably pasture raised, but that can be difficult to find. <laughs> um, I'll just have leftovers for breakfast, whether it's um, you know a sweet potato biscuit and maybe a couple slices of bacon, or warm up some leftovers. It, you're just changing your perception of what breakfast is. Um, so, and I do also make a smoothie every morning. And I'll be making a, a video about that, but I, I put uh, collagen in there for protein and some other um, good things. <laughs> so that can also be a grab and go um, breakfast on the go. I will always, uh, if I'm going to work, I will make an extra one for um, work the next day and I'll just grab it. I'll have it ready. Uh, so just meal planning if that works for you um, I've never tried meal planning. I guess I mean I kind of plan what dishes I want to make But I it's more like <laughs> what I feel like eating that week um, And not making what I made last week kind of thing, but some people uh, like to do meal planning and um, You know as far as you know knowing what to buy for their groceries and that kind of thing and um, Dr. Sarah Ballantyne does have a lot of good uh, recipes on her website and uh, also has some good tips and tricks on initiating the um, paleo or auto autoimmune protocol <laughs> so and also you know you can still cook for your family um, you may not, you know, you'll have different side dishes for yourself. You can have a sweet potato instead of a regular potato, or you can make your own sweet potato fries as long as you're using the healthy oils that we mentioned in the previous video. And you're not going to be having like rice or pasta, but there are some gluten free pastas out there that you can try. There, um, there's cassava pasta out there and um, I also use uh, sweet potato noodles a lot. They're just made from the starch of the sweet potatoes and that uh, gives me a side dish that I can add whatever protein that I want with it. And I'll usually, um, when I make those noodles, either put some uh, spiralized zucchini or some spaghetti squash just to give it some added uh, nutrition and vitamins. So there will be times where you're just hangry <laughs> and you're running around doing errands and with the kids. And so I always like to have some emergency type of snacks with me. And um, one of my favorite ones is these beef um, meat sticks. They're made by um, the new Primal and they are made with grass fed beef. And they're, you know, they don't have to be refrigerated or anything. And these will hold me over until the next meal. Or sometimes I've eaten one or two of these as a meal replacement and I'm not hungry at all. These are on Amazon and I'll leave a link down below. Um, they have gone up in price, unfortunately. Uh, they used to be. $24.99 for this box and um, there's 20 sticks in here and now they're $34.99 for the 20 sticks. Uh, 
and one that I find locally are the Vermont uh, meat sticks and these are not perfect they have uh, they do have some black pepper in them so if you're strictly following the autoimmune protocol uh, you won't want to use these initially um, and they're not they're not made from grass-fed beef, but they are a little bit cheaper than these if I'm waiting for an order from Amazon. And I'll grab a couple of those. I do also uh, use some dried fruit. You just have to be careful, you know, not to go overboard uh, eating all the extra sugars. I'm a little bit more limited than uh, what the autoimmune protocol limits as far as fruit. Uh, because of my allergies, but I like dried apricots and I'll leave a link down below uh, to my favorite dried apricots that I also get on Amazon get a better deal uh, So there those are good if you just want a little something sweet after a meal um, It's a habit that I've had my whole life just feel like you gotta have some dessert <laughs> so sometimes I'll have you know one or two after a meal or uh, some fresh fruit and if I am traveling obviously I'm not going to be able to um, if you're just the type of person when you're traveling you just want to get something quick and eat it on the run uh, you're not going to be able to stop at McDonald's uh, you could probably McDonald's doesn't even offer salads anymore um, Burger, uh, is it Burger? Wendy's does offer salads. So if you just see what they put on it, because some of the some of their salads they have walnuts on them. So, but you can have them just you know leave them off, or the tomatoes and that kind of thing, because those are in the um, nightshade family. But I will just uh, get some uncured deli meats and roll them up. And put them in a sandwich bag and then put them in my um, my lunch bag with uh, an ice pack and uh, maybe some chopped up veggies and there you go there's your lunch <laughs> um, it just you know takes away that temptation of uh, grabbing something that you shouldn't as far as um, eating out eating out can be challenging but um for a while i felt like oh god the only thing i can have is a salad <laughs> on the menu and um and i you can you know salad is a good option um just can't have any you know the peppers and tomatoes that they would normally put on them but you know cucumbers radishes um and i usually would bring um bring my own salad dressing that I make with uh, just some apple cider vinegar and olive oil and some seasoning um, because uh, if you've ever looked at the ingredients on the you know regular salad dressings that you get at the store most of them have soy bean oil um, which is inflammatory and you know the list is a mile long as far as uh, ingredients you can't pronounce and preservatives and that kind of thing so I make my own dressing I know what's in it and um, if I'm no I know we're gonna be eating out then I'll bring my own dressing and um, that helps a lot but you don't always have to have a salad you can have you know grilled chicken or and I know our favorite seafood restaurant, um, most of their stuff is breaded, but they will, like the baked haddock, they will, they will leave the breading off, the, uh, the breadcrumbs off if you ask them. And instead of french fries, I'll get like a double veggie on the side. So you can work around it and um, not feel like you're being deprived, but you're still staying on track. Well, I hope these tips are helpful for you. If you have any questions or any comments, please put them down below in the description box. Please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And thanks so much for watching. Share and like this video, and we'll see you the next time. Bye.